Polio Jr. and in today's very short video I wanted to show you uh, what I feel to be the best and most accurate uh, speed testing program that is out. Now of course there's speedtest.net that is available, your provider has one, and uh, even Google has one. But actually I'm not really, I saw big differences when I did use Google and speed test, um, you know, compared to using this one, which is dslreports.com slash speed test. Now they have a whole, they have a plethora of different uh, functions that you can use, different programs that they have for you to run on your computer and so forth. Now I am using, uh, I am on Wi-Fi at the moment, but, uh, the router is relatively close to me, so this really isn't too bad. But anyway, um, you could actually see from these previous reports of the stability of of DSL reports. There are a couple times that you can see where I've tested out different things, where I've checked out, I've tried different adapters and so forth. But what I'm going to do, when you go in here, uh, you can either use the regular HTTP one, or you can just use the HTTPS one, which is what I'll have a link to in the in the description. But just click on whatever you're using, um, which I typically just click cable, and then allow that. That's fine. Now, in my experience, so DSL reports has been around. It's been around before speed test. It's been around before Google. So they've had a lot more time to actually see, um, you know, any discrepancies in their in their program in their speed test to see how fast the pings are, to see how fast your download speeds are and your upload speeds are. So um, you know, they obviously they connect to the closest server that they can, and typically it's pretty steady. So unless your ISP is a little off. So sometimes your ISP can fluctuate a little bit, but I do like DSL reports in general, just because it feels, um, like I said, it just, I'm looking for a better word than safe, but it is, um, it's reliable. That's what I love about speed test. So right now on the Wi-Fi, it says I'm getting 72.9 megabits per second and 13.83 upload. So, you know, the download's not bad, the upload could be a lot better, but so six mega so six megabits equals one megabyte. So for this one I'm downloading at you know a little bit uploading a little bit over two megabytes per second, which isn't bad, but in two thousand nineteen going into two thousand twenty, yeah. <laughs> That's a whole different story. So uh let's refresh this and just see our history or my history and see where see how it compares now I don't want it so I do like their um, it says see full data in table which is um, it shows all of your history and it gets even more specific than what you see in front of you I just don't want to click on it because it has my IP address and all that good stuff so now let's click on about this test do 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 so six second validation test for your browser. Um, so you can see that they have all kinds of different applications and how they actually come up with your speed test number. So this is dslreport.com slash speed test. Like I said, link will be in the description, but try this one and then test out Google and even test out speedtest.net and see if you don't get you know a little bit of a maybe even a, a large difference like I have you know using speed test and Google so they're not as accurate in my opinion as dslreports.com is so and dslreports.com in my opinion also beats out the ones that you even your ISP one your ISP one is actually the cl is the closest to dslreports.com as far as accuracy so it would go dslreports.com and then it would be your ISP's 
you know your internet service provider whatever you have comcast etc verizon whatever um you know so that would be your second one in my experience and then after that you know the other ones will you know they might be in the ballpark but they're not as precise this is precise so in my experience but that's all i have for today this is the best speed test um you know uh <laughs> this is the best speed test that I've found <laughs> as far as so use it in any web browser. It doesn't matter. You know, you can even use it on mobile. It's very simple. And um, even on mobile, it'll say like pick 4G and so forth. So it's pretty cool and very simple to use and extremely accurate. So check out DSLreports.com slash speed test. And like I said, make sure if you want, make sure you use the HTTPS functionality. So since uh http is kind of going away there but all right guys that's all i have thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one later here this doesn't show any specific information it just shows what my internet service provider my download speed and my upload speed so for this one you can see it was what is this june 6th 2019 813 megabits per second what the hell was I using I don't even know but um, let's see here but you can see you know uh, like if there's a 90 there typically it's either when nobody else is using the internet or I switched over to the Ethernet port that's when I'm typically hitting uh, 90s and up so it'll give you your history of your download and your upload speed as well as uh, your grade and you know so time day internet service provider download and upload speed and your grade so but yeah just wanted to add that in so thanks for watching guys see you later bye